Picked up by Folks. Leasley infield. Harry is still pushing on through Brown. Played infield to Richards, who lifts the ball to the far post towards Amari Morgan Smith. It bounces down though, and Carline is beaten to it. Good work there from Pierce, it is, who wins the ball back. Back in, and oh, it's sliced wide by Amari Morgan Smith from about seven yards out. And that really would have been the start. Excellent work from Christian Pierce. Oh, I don't know what Carl Iman was doing over on that far side to get robbed as easy as he was. As you say, great work by Pierce. Amari Morgan Smith. Really, you've got to be putting those away, haven't you? You've got to be putting them on target at least. Make the goalkeeper make a save. Bates it is with the ball into the centre now. Delivered into the far post. It's a jump up in the air there. Brown keeps it alive. Clears the ball off Murren Bensey. He's going to have to race out to win that. Murren Bensey, though, gets space on there to fire in a shot. Tipped over by Dibble. Good effort there from Shepard Murabetsi. And Harry has, after seven minutes, still keep it goalless. But Brackley get their third corner of the opening exchanges. Zach, end to end stop. Zach Brown did well initially there, but he was very isolated. No one went to help him. And suddenly it was two on one. Bates it is with the corner. Ball in. Headed up in the air there by Leesley towards the far post. And it's blocked. Shot comes in. Shot again. Good block from. The combination of Byrne and Morrison. And that was a, an opportunity again for Brackley. Harris didn't quite clear their lines, and it was just a boom moving about in the middle of the area. And Theo Robinson trying to get an effort away. Bates with the ball at his feet. On this left hand side, about 30 yards from goal. Hurling the ball towards the Harriers uh, penalty area. Headed up in the air there by Pierce, picked up by Matuaza. Carline it is it, with the ball, no, he's broken down there is the Walker, it breaks to the far side. Hemmings is going to get a clear run, a mistake in the defence, Hemmings is trying to get away, gets into the area, can he find the finish? Yes he can! A breakaway goal for Gillam is the Harriers, and Ashley Hemmings after 13 minutes has put the visitors ahead, the opening goal in the better of the National League North final, and a terrible error by the Brackley defence, and having run 50 yards to put the ball inside Danny Lewis's right hand up right. Brackley down now, Kinnamit's Harriers won. You do have to say, <laughs> as much as I'm delighted for Harriers, in terms of being against the run of play, that has got to be run up there in terms of goals in games I've seen lately, because Brackley have been absolutely peppering the Harriers defence, but credit to Harriers, they stood firm, and Ashley Hemmings, well, that was a really good finish. He had an awful lot to do, as you quite rightly say, he ran half the length of the pitch, basically kept his composure with defenders bearing down on him and just put it inside Danny Lewis's upright. Harriers have the lead. Now then, the game needed a goal, didn't they? It needs an early goal, these big games. We've got one. How will both sides respond to that? Uh, ball up the line. Over the head of... Robinson, but Matuaza picks up on that far side, clips it across. Car, a lovely ball for Ricardo Calder, who's got space to run into. Folks in two minds, leaves his man. Pierce comes across to put in a cover, the ball into the centre, drops down to Matuaza, shot coming in and over from Jordan Richards on the edge of the area, supporting the attack. It was a, a ball laid down. I think, to be fair, Matuaza never quite controlled it well enough. And Richards sort of running onto it, sort of hurried in his shot at it over the top of the Harriers crossbar. Header in field. Ball drops to Leesley. Harriers can break on that left hand side as it's played to Caleb Richards. Matoise is slow to get back. Richards can go forward. Lifts the ball into the centre. It's a oh, a volley oh. from. Oh! <laughs> thought that very nearly. <laughs> Oof. Bates it is. Laying the ball across just to get away from Morgan Smith. Out to Carline. Morgan Smith chasing him down as he goes forward. 
Ball played into Robinson. Robinson with a shot on the turn. Dibble watching it go wide of the right hand. Left hand upright, rather, from his, uh, from his perspective. Robinson's shot, though, on the turn was decent. Dibble wasn't sure, was he? Threw himself at it. As it was, it was wide of the upright, but uh, he had to make absolutely sure there, Christian Dibble. Good effort from Theo Robinson. Harriers with the advantage through Ashley Hemmings' 13th minute goal. Leesley down this left hand side. Good ball into the centre. Morgan Smith. Oh! I'm not certain. I think he got just a glance on it. He was unmarked in the area. And I think that was a, a glorious opportunity. What a ball in from Joe Leesley. Really good cross. As you say, Morgan Smith steaming in at the far post. Nobody anywhere near him. And maybe didn't quite get there, to be fair to him. But, oh, that was a chance. That was a chance. There are at the moment Brackley trying to find a way back in as Dibble clears left-footed. Morgan Smith getting caught there, I thought, by Murren Badsy. He'll get caught a second time, but he's flicked the ball down. Fane Brown, now it's through to Hemmings. Hemmings taking it away, fires in a shot. It's down! It's the second! Harry has a broken away to score a second goal. Hemmings goes to the Harriers fans. Away to our left, an hour played. And Harriers have doubled their advantage. Hitting the ball across Danny Lewis. And there is no stopping the celebrations. On the, in front of the Harriers fans, away to our left. Hemmings was there to put it away. The Brackley players are looking at one another. He's had two chances. And he's put both of them beyond Danny Lewis. The second goal coming after an hour play. And it is Brackley to end nil. Kidderman to Harriers two. Beautifully finished by Ashley Hemmings. Cross blocks off the first ball from oh, oh so the referee's going to make play on there. Colders, I think, is going to be called back in a little bit later, but it's Hemmings racing through. Can he find the finish? Oh, well, that was a strike just from distance. It was rising, it was dipping. Lewis was beaten, and the ball flying just over the top of the former Kidderminster goalkeeper's net. Well, he wasn't a long way away there, was he? That was a really good effort by Ashley Hemmings. Good run, good refereeing again, really, for playing the advantage there. Brackley Town nil, Kidderminster to Harriers too. Shane Byrne dispossessing Armson. It's Shane Byrne against his former club. Shane Byrne with the shot, but a comfortable save, you would say, from Danny Lewis. Driven forward by Bates. There's a break through the middle here. Goalkeeper tries to play it. Matwata, oh, great defending! Morrison. Oh, what a brilliant piece of defending from Kyle Morrison. Goalkeeper went to kick it out. The uh, leg got played through. Matwaza it was. And what a fantastic bit of defending by Kyle Morrison. Sliding in at the near post to clear that ball off the line to retain Harriers' two-goal advantage. Bates given away, though. Harriers will just touch it into the path of Hemmings. And he'll run towards that flag on the far side. The Harriers management team are congratulating each other. And so they might. It's a throw-in on the far side. The referee looks at his watch. <coughs> it's very nearly over. 11 seconds, the referee and Joe Leesley have a hug. And that is it. Is it? No, it's a throw-in. Harriers fans being urged just to Carry on one more time. Hemmings in that far corner. Folks kicks it out of play for a goal kick. And this surely will be the last action of this playoff final. Two goals from Ashley Hemmings. One in each half. Yes is the cry from Joe Leesley. The referee blows his whistle. And Kidderminster to Harriers are into the National League. They've beaten Brackley Town by two goals to nil. Thoroughly deserved. 
Ashley Hemmings has done it. Two goals. Yes. One in each Come half. On. And the Harriers fans behind the goal away to our left will celebrate. And the Harriers fans in blue. The players congratulating. Heartbreak for Brackley. But for Kinovich, the Harriers, they return to the National League. And Russ Penn and Jimmy O'Connor have overseen the most remarkable turnaround that has ever been seen, I think, in the National League. A run of victories that has taken them all the way to the playoff final, all the way away from home. Come on, man. Come on, Come on. The Brackley players are out on their feet. The Harriers players are celebrating. And no surprise that the Harriers fans away to our left are doing likewise. The Kidderminster the Harriers are going into the National League. The Harriers are going up through the National League playoffs.